everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you three easy, simple, no-brainer ways to use a cloth nappy. Now the cloth nappies I'm using, they're the real old style ones, um, the Terry Towel ones that you can pick up anywhere, Target, Kmart, baby shops, um, baby bunting, they're just like this. Just, and you get them in colours uh, or you know just plain white like I have here now I use these for my son and my daughter Harper who is almost eight months old so yeah now I love using cloth nappies obviously it's good for the environment and it's good for your wallet as well so it saves you a lot of money now you just buy packs of these, quite cheap, um, and you wash them. You can get liners, like I've got bamboo liners, but a lot of the time you forget to use them and yeah, because you just don't know when they're going to poo. But probably when they're a newborn and you use, and if you're using these, I'll probably put one in every time. But Harper was so small, so we didn't bother using these with her when she was um, a newborn because she was 12 days early. So we just use the, the disposables. Um, yeah, but probably for the last five, six months, we've been using these on her when she's at home. Um, and sometimes when she has a day nap, she'll have one on and, and there's and the no worries. So I also do have these style. These style, these are Cheeky Monkey brand. Now these were, my sister gave me these. She got given these with her daughter, but she didn't really use them, I don't think, either. The thing with them is, I mean, they look gorgeous. They're, they're cute as, like, they're, they're adorable. And these come in all patterns, all, all different colours. Um, yeah, they're a lot, obviously, cuter than, than these ones. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you're just using it, obviously, at home, no one's going to know what you're using. So... You, get, you can get these style, these are really quite popular now, but the thing that I, the reason I didn't use them um, was because this liner, the insert here, right, goes inside like so, inside here, there it goes. Now you'd need a lot of these, okay? And initially, yeah, I know you, you'll save a lot in the long run once you've made that initial purchase, but to purchase enough of these that you're gonna need for, for a whole day um, before you have time um, to put, put them in the wash and, and do a load of them, you're gonna need quite a few to start with. Whereas uh, with the Terry Towel and these cloth nappies that like my mother used with us, um, you get them quite cheap, initially quite cheap, so you're saving that initial cost straight up. So yeah, you've got your liner in your nappy, okay, how it goes in there. And then your baby's going to you know, put this on, on your baby, okay. And then, now once this part is wet, it's, it's done. The nappies, this whole nappy here is, is no, no good anymore, okay, because you get you're going to have stuff on the outside, the liners inside, if, if, if I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, there's just, to me, it'd be well and good if if you had the money to buy a lot to, to start with initially. Yeah, great. For us, it was a better, um, cheaper alternative to these. But yeah, like I said, I, I love the look of these. I thought they're so cute and, and they're so stylish. Um, but yeah, it was just that downside to me once you know once your baby does obviously a wheel poop then they're no good that they're gone it'd be all right if they were if they were cheaper yeah that that's that'd be great um because obviously these aren't reusable either once the baby wets in this it goes but you can get you know four packs of the insert a picture here of how much they are you know say from big w or or baby shops for for a pack and how many is in a pack and if you do the maths on that, these Terry Talon ones work out a lot cheaper. And I just 
we'll put some nappy sand in with these, soak them. I also purchased these come in a pack of two. I'll put the link to the to where I got these down below. These are just Peapod's brand. And these are the covers that'll go over the terry towel and cloth nappy once it's on your baby and it just does up. So you got all different, all different size babies. If it's smaller, you bring it up here and make it smaller for when they're really, really little babies. And obviously as they grow, you can you can bring it down. Yeah, so these are two pack of these for 20 something dollars. I think, yeah. And I've had these same two. Like I said, soak these as well. I'll give these a wash every few days and rotate between the two. And never had to purchase any more yet. I mean, it's up to you, but my personal choice on the cloth nappies is clearly the Terry Towel ones. So now I'm going to show you three easy ways to fold a cloth nappy. Okay, so the first fold I'm going to show you would have to be the easiest cloth nappy folds ever. Okay, so I'm just going to show you on Harper's little baby doll here. Looks pretty real. I mentioned before. These are just bamboo liners here. Get these from baby shops. So these are the liners that you can put inside the cloth nappy to catch the poo. So firstly, you want to lay the cloth nappy out flat and then fold one corner to a corner to make a triangle like so, and then make another triangle. And now you're left with a smaller triangle. And then you're gonna put your liner in over that and the baby goes in. Then you're going to pull up that part between their legs and you want to curl underneath the leg like I am here just to stop any extra leakage escaping. This is just another precaution to take. Then you're folding the two sides together and then you're using your snappy to clip that together and that'll hold the cloth nappy on. And then we're going to put the pilcher underneath the baby and then do that up as so using the buttons that we've got there adjusting it to fit your baby correctly i've inserted a clip there also of how i'm rolling up under the baby's legs to prevent leakage Now for the second fold, you're going to lay it out flat like so, fold it in half, pull that corner to the other corner, leaving you with a triangle, flipping that over, then you're going to fold in the side here. This fold I've done would be for a newborn, but for a toddler, you'd fold it less times. And then you're just putting your insert in, again pulling up through the middle of the baby's legs. Again, assuring that's rolled in correctly to stop leakage. Then you're just gonna pull the two sides together, hold that down with one hand, use your snappy. And this is like a claw, it's very sharp. So you gotta be careful of obviously the baby and your fingers. And then you're just again putting that waterproof pilcher under the baby and buttoning it up. Using the cloth nappies might seem like a long, long winded process compared to whacking on a disposable nappy, but a couple of times of doing this and you'll just breeze through it in no time at all. Now for the last fold, shall we say the kite fold? So you're folding both sides like this so it's a bit like a kite and then you're bringing up that middle section bringing down the top triangle to meet up like so and you can adjust this because obviously if you need it smaller or you need it bigger you can adjust that middle piece down or up to fit to fit the size of your baby also to make using the cloth nappies more quicker when you get them dry I like to fold them I do the easiest fold for Harper. I like to fold them like that and just pile them up. So I just grab from the pile when she needs changing and they're good to go. Thank you for watching and I really hope you've found this helpful in how to put on a terry towel and cloth nappy for your baby. If you're new here, 
please hit that red subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.